everybody welcome to my channel and um, today's routine is a let's workout i like to try to meet jumps with my exercises because it is a great way first to warm up and second to burn fat and i'm going to explain how it works while you jump in this generate a lot of heat in the body so your body must burn more fuel to create this energy resulting in higher levels of calorie burning if you jump between exercises it's gonna be easy for your body burn fat also jumping help you to tone your calves right because when you jump you are exercising and using the muscles of your calves so jumpings are considered one of the best workouts for improving bone health but also improve metabolism so next time when you are at the gym try to meet workouts with some jumps exercises Exercises. It conditions your muscles and helps you burn calories even when you are resting. When I do jumps, I try to do variations. So I do single leg jumps, but also I do squat jumps. You can do jumps without any weight, but also you can use a moderate weight to make it harder. This stretching that I'm doing, if you pay attention, I do this almost every time in my workouts. It, it helped me tie the muscles of the glutes and hamstrings. Since I just started doing this stretching, I noticed my glutes getting more defined and it's because I don't let my muscles rest after workout and instead I do this, this stretching that pump my glutes. The next exercise is free squat and I start with 35 pounds and I finish with 45 pounds. I know I had told you that if you do a squat in a smith machine it's better because you can actually you can lift heavier but free a squat it helps you to get straightening in your lower back and also you get good posture so free squat is a good exercise to have in your routines remember try to do always the exercise in different ways so your muscles don't get custom but also you hit different muscles i almost all the time when i work free squat i try to do this in hypertrophy technique if you're set free no way use the bar the second set i do 35 pounds in each side then 40 then 45 and finally 50 pounds this actually pump my legs like my quads and my hamstrings get super big and i do these exercises in super set so it's even hotter because i do free squat in hypertrophic technique and i do super set with jumps so i do not rest i pass immediately to do jumps and then i rest and then i start again with free squat and then jumps so remember if you try to do supersets supersets is when you do two exercises together but you don't rest between those exercises these help you to get strengthening to have better capacity in your workouts and you last longer then i pass to conventional rdls with landmine this way to do conventional rdl is kind of pretty like pretty hard but i like because while you are working your legs you are also getting strengthening your upper body and your core so i like when i do like functional exercises you don't hit a group of muscles but hit different group of muscles so at this point I am already super tired and everything else is really challenged to my legs. So I always start my first set with no way to get the form, to get what are my arms, my my core, what are my legs. And then the second set I use uh, 25 pounds. This exercise is challenging because you don't use wear your hamstrings and glutes but also your upper body and core you have to have a straightening and you create a straightening in your upper body while you are doing this exercise it helps you with posture build straightening mobility and grow your muscles i usually do four sets 
in English said I raise my way the first one I do not use way at all the second I use 25 pounds the third 35 and the, the last one 45 pounds this is pretty hard in the beginning even if you are just learning the form with no way it's pretty hard but once you do eventually you get the form you get the posture you get you get the movement and then it's, it's a little easier so don't gonna try to do heavier if you start doing this exercise try to get the form and once you get comfortable with the movement then you try to use a little weight after this i do a squat with landmine and if you notice a squat and conventional rdls are perform in different ways in different forms while you are doing conventional rdls you are compromise your upper body and core and you are doing an inclination while when you are doing a squat your upper body no move at all i mean you are doing force with your upper body because you are holding the landmine with your arms but you don't do any movement with your upper body the only thing that you move are your knees going down performing the squat you also are building strengthening in your core and your upper body but you are not doing any movement at all with your upper body while you are doing a squat with landmine a squat in landmine build full body strength and it involves lifting weight that is placed in front of us it is safer and lower impact in our back that help us improve balance build lower body strength and improve muscle mass around our upper body glutes and quads we can perform free squat in different ways placing the landmine in front of us also putting in our shoulder but we had to alternate to balance our body that my hack squat is different disengage your back and core muscles because of its otial loading also target quadriceps glutes and hamstrings it is a good choice to build a strength improve muscle tone and enhance our overall fitness I suggest to do this exercise several times with no way before you put any way there because you have to learn to do the proper form but also to turn 180 degrees to look backwards to the landmine so you can do the exercise also you can avoid any injury if you learn the proper form because once you use way it's kind of harder to do this exercise good you have to stand your feet a couple of steps out in front of you as a landmine hack squat is asymmetrical that means that the barbell is placed on one shoulder it's important to maintain weight distribution through the movement engaging both shoulders and keeping the torso straight alternating size every set to prevent muscular imbalance i hope see you in the next workout and see you later bye bye